We now welcome MRS 2021 Spring Meeting Chair Shaolin Li. Welcome and thanks for joining us. Yeah, it's uh, really nice to meet you virtually, all chair. Well, at long last, the meeting you've been working towards for several years is here. And this certainly wasn't the typical path toward an MRS meeting. Tell us about the journey that you took as a meeting chair to get to this day. So I think it all started uh, back in 2019, September. And then we went through the uh, pandemic. And um, so at the beginning, we don't know whether this is going to be an on-site meeting or it's going to be an online meeting, you know, at the beginning of 2020. But, you know, still, we kind of went through the whole process. And so finally, we get this program um, uh, done. So it's pretty good experience. So we get about uh, 55 symposia. And um, also now we have more than 3,000 regist uh, people registered for the meeting. So that is really uh, something wonderful. We know there's a lot of work involved in being an MRS meeting chair. Why did you volunteer for the role? Uh, first of all, I have been um, involving in the MRS um, for a long time. So starting as a, a student or postdoc and uh, to attending the meetings and uh, to present there. And uh, this is a really uh, wonderful uh, platform. So, you know, I really enjoy the experience and to serve the, the entire MRS community. So I think uh, at a certain point, then I feel, oh, uh, you know, maybe I want to um, serve as a meeting chair. So it will brought my uh, interaction, not only with the people that in my own field, uh, but also uh, the broader MRS uh, research community. What advice would you have for future MRS meeting chairs? I'll say some of my experience, um, you know, working with uh, co-meeting chairs, working with the symposium organizers and uh, with MRS uh, leadership and stuff. Um, it's, it's really, um, as I mentioned, it's an honor to serve and it's also a pleasure, uh, exp a pleasant experience. and. Uh, um, also, it's a learn. It's a very good learning experience too. So I think uh, I will really encourage uh, people. You know, um, whether you are at your early uh, career stage or you are, um, you know, uh, at your mid career or even late career. So to volunteer and to serve uh, the community is really good. Obviously, the pandemic has had a drastic effect on the meeting, but for you personally, how has this affected your day-to-day -day work? I think the pandemic definitely uh, changed a lot of things. So now we don't have face-to-face um, um, -face meetings. You know, um, everything is going virtual. Also in uh, life, you know, like a family um, too. So, right, so uh, I have two small kids and um, they are in first grade. Uh, so that's quite uh, that's quite some challenge, you know, to manage uh, the work and the life. Um, but I, I think, uh, you know, after a year, we have learned and we have improved, um, you know, to, to get used to it. And I think uh, also f for this meeting, too, it, it's a it's a challenge. It's a journey, uh, but we make it. Can you tell us what events or topics you are most looking forward to at this meeting? Oh, yes, in the energy and sustainability cluster. So, you know, we focus on the catalysis of sustainability and also we focus on the battery safety and the sustainability. There are quite some symposiums there. And uh, for the batteries, I want to mention we have a focus symposium on solid state battery and um, on aqueous battery and also on intercalation chemistry beyond um, lithium ion battery. So. And also for the nanoscale material and uh, quantum material uh, cluster, uh, we have two symposiums uh, focusing on the uh, superconductor. Uh, Again, thank you so much for your time today. Thank you.